Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm super excited to be starting out my Halloween tutorials today with this half skull mask makeup tutorial. This look is inspired by Crispies that she made last year. I fell in love with the look and I've wanted to create it ever since. So if you wanna see how I got this half skull makeup look, then just keep on watching. I'm starting out with my hair clip back and my brows on, and the first thing I'm grabbing is this white cream makeup that I found from the Halloween store. Now this stuff was extremely hard to work with. The first time I tried it with this brush, I absolutely gave up, went and washed it off and started over again. So this time I went in with just a nude pencil and kind of mapped out where I was gonna do everything, and then ended up trying it out with a sponge. This worked a lot better for me. It didn't dry as fast, and I was able to get the streaks out and kind of work with it better but I ended up putting it on way too thick and it just basically was cracking off once it dried. So if you're actually going to be wearing it out on Halloween, I don't really know if I recommend this cream makeup, but if you do want to try it out, I would try just doing a really thin layer and that may help. So when I was putting it on, I was really just trying to lay it down, not really worry about the clean edges or anything, because we'll do that later. Then I'm just going to cover my lips, which was really gross. I hated this part. Then once it started drying, I just went in with a little bit more paint in the areas that were patchy and weren't as pigmented, just to kind of clean it up and make everything look smooth. Next, I took a flat concealer brush with that white paint and tried to make that edge nice and crisp. I also went in with a flat definer brush with some eye makeup remover on it to also help clean that line up. You want to make sure that these are pretty symmetrical, but of course they don't have to be perfect. And this is when I started noticing that the paint was really thick and actually like hardening on my face. Next, I'm taking black cream makeup and I'm gonna start working on the nose, but I first realized that I needed to make those little points with the white first. So the nose can really be any shape that you want. I pretty much followed Crispy's, but I made it just a little slimmer. So I just went straight down the sides of my nose and made those two black lines, made little triangles at the top. Mine were definitely not symmetrical. I didn't really make sure that they were. And then of course, just filled it in. Now with the black again, I'm gonna start adding in the definition of all the bones. So this is kind of where I start going all over the place. Excuse me, this is a very creative video and I kind of sit down and don't really know what direction I'm going into. So first I did the two lines under the eye sockets. Then I'm drawing the line across the mouth that's going to define the difference between our upper and lower teeth. So you just wanna fill in the very center of your lips and then extend the lines of your mouth outward. So here's where I kind of jumped around. I moved on to cheekbones next. And to me, this was the hardest part because I was freaking out about making them super symmetrical. It's kind of a weird curvy line, but you really don't have to be absolutely perfect with it. In the end, it really does look great. And I thought mine were super wonky. So the line kind of starts above your contour and it's gonna surround those two lines of the mouth. It's kind of hard to explain. And honestly, I feel like the best thing is just to make sure you have that reference photo. So then I'm going to fill in this next weird little shape, which is supposed to be like a shadow of two bones connecting, I guess. And then we're going to move on to the teeth, finally. So I just started in the middle and worked my way out, trying to make the lines as straight and as symmetrical as possible, but it really doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna do a lot of shading and curving of the teeth. Teeth aren't supposed to be square looking at all, so these really don't have to be too perfect. And then this is where my camera battery actually died. So I decided to do one half of the teeth while it was charging just to kind of save time. And that way I had a map and knew what I was doing, you know? So with a matte black shadow and an angled liner brush, I basically just started making the tops of the teeth triangular. This step was definitely challenging, but again, once you do all the blending and have everything in there, it'll all work out, I promise.
Next, we're going to add in some shading. So under the eye socket and under the cheekbone, I just went in with, again, some matte black shadow. And I also made sure to go in with the fluffy brush and kind of blend it out a little bit just for some added shading. You want this deep part of the cheekbone where it connects with the teeth to be really blown out and smoky. So just slowly add more shadow and really blend, blend, blend that part out. Then I also went in and detailed the back teeth more because I didn't really do that before. And then just to hide some few little black smudges and make the teeth pop a little more, I went over them with the white cream makeup. I wanted to add the cracks at the bottom of the chin like Crispy did, and this part turned out way harder than I thought it was going to be. But I found the best way to do it was just to really lightly drag that angled liner brush upward and kind of wiggle it as you go up. That creates the most natural looking cracks in my opinion. Then I'm going to add some more shading under the chin and in between the cracks because shading is what's really going to make the look come to life. So now we're finally moving on to the eyes. Again, I wanted to let my battery charge, so I did one eye off camera. You can really get away with any eyeshadow look for this. You can do it more glam, less glam, whatever you're feeling. So I'm using the Kat Von D Shade in Light Eye Palette for this, and I'm taking her Matte Black Shadow, which is the one I've been using this whole time, by the way. And I'm just roughly placing this all over my lid. And for my crease shade, I'm using my favorite color in this palette, which is the Red Brick Shade. And again, just roughly placing this in my crease, nothing too special or specific or defined. Once I go over those steps a couple times and get everything to my desired intensity, I'm going to highlight my brow bone with just the matte white shade in the palette. Then I'm just going to pop on some Ardell Dummy Wispies and move on to the lower lash line. Again, I wanted to make this really smoky, so I just took the matte black and ran it under there. Quickly hit my waterline with a black pencil from e.l.f. and of course coated my lower lashes with mascara. So that's it for this half skull makeup tutorial. I really hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up for me if you did enjoy it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a video from me. And I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye!